Welcome back my friend to another reaction video. I hope you're having a good day and if not, I hope it gets better. This video is from Body Cam Watch. Woman gets drunk at work and refuses to leave police escort her out. It's what we're watching today. Let's go. Oh, hey, buddy. Where's she at? She's downstairs. Uh, so what's the background, sir? So we got, she was on the phone mm -hmm. and one of my other employees downstairs heard the person that she was on the phone. Mm -hmm. And he stopped drinking while on the job. Okay. So we just terminated her like about 10 minutes before okay. all of you guys. And she's refusing to leave. Okay. So Are you her direct supervisor? Yeah, I'm the manager. Yeah. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Hi. You doing okay? Yeah. Um, hi. What's your name? I am Officer Carfoni from Fumas Police. Hi. Um, how may I help you? No, how may I help you? What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm just trying to figure this out. Figure what out? Um, this. What's your name is? Nailina Diego. Melina? Nailene. Nailene? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any idea why I'm here? No clue. Would well, you like yeah. to know what I'm here for? That's your problem. <laughs> well, I, I know what I'm here for. That might be your problem, actually. Uh -huh. That might be a business of yours. Good see. So, what's your title? I'm the owner. Okay, what's her title here? She She's a BDC. She works in the business. Yeah, I'm also in law school if you want to take down my um, lawyer's information. Well, I don't want to talk to you just yet. You just yeah, ignore yeah. me. Yeah, okay. So, so she was the administrator. Name with my... Yeah, that's her desk. Oh, okay, so I want your ID number with you, your first and last name, so I can talk you're gonna, to my you're, lawyer. You're going to get it? Yes, because I'm in law school. Okay. All right. So I have a par I'm, I'm a paralegal by profession. I have a paralegal. Oh, yeah. Um, I did. I'm 21, and I did paralegal like what a year ago. Okay. So, what's your first and last name? Officer Carfroni from Ice Police. First C name. C C A. C A. F F. F F. R O N I. R O N I. My badge number is six one six. Six one six. Correct. What's your whole bar number? Your entire bar number? Bar number? I don't have a bar number. You just got a batch number. So you said that you went to law school and you don't have a bar number? <sighs> that's that's tough. Okay, so let me let me just call my mom and let me just have her. You obviously are a professional. That's tough. I mean, so it's my understanding they're terminating your employment here at the Chevrolet. Well, what's confirmed is that I need to have I need to have someone picked me up. So why are you making it like? Well, so, I believe they actually uh, believe that uh, you're not leaving. I am. I am. Okay. What I'm when, just, when is your ride coming here? Oh, when my mom me dice que va a venir. My partner doesn't speak Spanish. Okay. Your partner doesn't speak Spanish, no. correct? She said that her mama said that she was gonna come get her. You guys, uh. Look, usually people get drunk to avoid work. I'm just I'm, I'm being honest, okay? Usually they do. It seems. Uh, hopefully she didn't get drunk and then drove to work because that would have been tragic if she got in an accident. And not just for her, but other people out there, babe, because once that alcohol gets in your brain, you don't even know what you're doing anymore. You think you know what you're doing, but trust me, the brain is telling you, well, not the brain, but the alcohol is telling you what to do. And it's not good for you, okay? Now, she said went to law school. She probably should know what she, what she should not be doing, right? I'm just, I'm just trying to point that out, okay? Uh, she already gained the officer's badge number, she, she, which you could if you want to, you know, but it seems like she already getting a little hostile, you know? He's just there to try to get her out because the business wants her out. Not that the police officer wants her. It's the business. The owner is like, hey, I want her out of my business. The police is just there to do it. But... At first, she sounded like she was uh, going to be chill, like, relaxed, like, hey, man, yeah, I just wanted to get this done real quick at work, you know, I'm a good worker, I'm trying to get the monthly thing, you know, the best worker there is in the world, I'm just trying to help people out, you know, just, maybe I'll, you know, reach another level in this business, you know, you know, like, you know, a person would want to do at work, like, try to, like, make more money and all that, but, uh, wow.
she must love that work so much she really ain't trying to leave but i guess she did say her mama's coming right but let's get back to this uh and uh seems like the alcohol's telling her to talk spanish to a person that doesn't know spanish but hey Mistakes, you guys. Mistakes. I'm just saying, brains do make mistakes. I'm just saying. So that means I had to physically speak. Did you, did you guys officially ask her to leave the property? Yes, we did. Uh, and then her mom was on the phone after I. Yeah, my mom said that she was on the way. Her mom said she's not coming to pick Look, her. Her. No, her. No, no. Let me you call my mom on speaker. You need to leave the dealership now, please. Okay, so ma'am, let me. Okay, so the phone. You can hang up the phone too. Okay, so I I asked my mom to come on the way. Your mother told me she's not picking you up. So who, what's my mom's name? I don't know. She was on the phone. Okay, so that means she doesn't speak very good English. Okay, so that means that you don't know my mom's name. So that means I have to get my mom. But I home. just asked you to leave. No, okay, it's, it's time to go. Drives, we're we're telling you you need to leave. You're gonna be trespassed. So I can't I can't call my mom and ask her. You don't. To they don't want you to use your their phones. Okay. So I can't ask my mom to come pick me up. You can use your phone, not mine. You have a phone. Lo que dolía, lo que no es. Mommy, mm -hmm. this is my mom. Hi, mom. So tengo una policía aquí diciendo que yo necesito irme de los premises que yo necesito aquí que me recoja. Porque hay una gringa aquí fea, tú sabes, ya, ya de pinga. Wow, you guys, let me tell you what she said, okay? She said, Mama, you know, I got the police here. They're saying I got to leave the premises. Um, they said something about, um, I guess she needs to pick her up. Says that there, there's a white lady that's evil, a gringa, you know, <laughs> whatever. And uh, yeah, so she needs her to come pick her up. Her mama, I think her mama said, I, I can't pick you up. And she said, well, I need an Uber. But look, man, I'm going to tell you straight up. The way she was saying it in Spanish, ooh, she's bad, man. She's bad. It's those type of people that two-faced. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like get their little attitude. I know because, I mean, there's... I'm in Mexico, you guys, and there's the nice people, and then there's those bad people that are just, oh, I hate to say it, but kind of like snaky in a way, you know, snaky, like, get you when you ain't around and stuff. But, uh, yeah, her mama definitely said, I can't, I can't get you. And she said, well, I need Uber. I guess she needs to call herself Uber, right? But that's what she said. I just want to let you know, man. But, oh, she has a little attitude. She needs to get that checked, you guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> What's, what's your first name? Okay, I've had enough. We're going. We're going outside. We're going outside. Let's go outside. We've asked you to leave. Let's go. We're going outside. Let's go. Are you touching me? Yes. We've asked, everyone's asked you to leave. Let's go. Let's go. Time to go outside. I will, I will pick myself up, but don't touch me. Okay, let's go outside. Okay, We've asked you to leave. Let me grab my purse, but do not touch me. Okay, outside. my lip gloss. Bro. Like, like, bro, what? We've you asked you to leave. It's time to get. That's okay. All right. Check all, right. All, right. all right. Put your hands on your head. We're, no. we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Bro, stop! Stop! Mommy. That's why you're back. No. Oh. This is resistance. No, this isn't resistance. This is resisting. This is not resisting. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. I'm literally so innocent. Dope. It could have been super simple and you could have just left. Lock it, lock it real quick. Look at my stuff, look at my phone. No, this isn't Stop moving, anything. stop moving, stop moving. What's wrong with you guys? This is my phone. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What my are you doing? Purse, my purse, no, my no, stuff. No. My purse, that's my purse. That's my phone. That's my, like, what are you guys doing? That's my purse. That's what are you doing phone. to yourself? That's the no. question. You've been drinking a lot today. I don't know what you were drinking, my dear. It's pretty strong. No, it's just drinking. 
I mean, do, do me a favor, do a sweep on that desk, make sure doesn't nothing else that belongs to her is there. You know what? You know what, you guys, you guys, this whole company, yeah, this whole company is going to be sued by my law. Bro, this whole company is going to be sued. You Come on, just... take me off, bitch! Take me off, bitch! You could have just left. Not, not it! Okay. Not it! Not take me off! But you guys are going to be sued. Okay, well, you could have just left like a time. See you guys, and that's why you can't trust alcohol, all right? The alcohol just brought out the worst in her. I mean, because I, I, I doubt it she's that nice when she's she's not drunk, you know. Maybe she is, but then the alcohol changes people. I'm I'm just saying. Hey, look, man, the police officers let her go. They let her go, but they say, you know what? You need help? We're gonna let you go. Get your purse. Get your cell phone. Get whatever you need. But then the alcohol in the brain said, nah, girl, you gotta, you gotta swing back. You gotta get at them. You gotta tell them you don't give up, you know, to their face. And that's what caused the police officers to finally just get on handcuffs to you guys. But they'll tell you, man, alcohol is not your friend, all right? It might start off like your friend, like, oh, yeah, I'm just chilling, man, drinking with the homies, you know, watching some, you know, sports. Little some some TV, some news and stuff like that, but it starts escalating, you guys. If you don't, if you put a cap on that alcohol, it's gonna overflow, and that's when it's gonna take over your brain. You know, one day you might be do, you might do some stupid you don't want to do, or say some stupid to somebody you really care about, and then that person don't want to be around you. It happens, man. I'm telling you, man. Oh man, if you like to drink, man, drink responsibly, respect people, and know that it could betray you one day. I'm just, I'm just saying, okay. Look, she's trying to sue the company. She's trying to get that money, that cash. She's trying to get a new car, new house. She want to live that life in a boat at the sea. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if she likes to fish, man, but some people do. You know what I mean? But all she's fishing is herself out that business, man, because she's fired. I'm sure that business ain't getting her back. She lost her job. Probably going to be hard to get a job now because, you know, recommendations stuff. Ain't nobody going to recommend her. I'm, I'm that business for... But I might be wrong about that. Some businesses don't care to try to give people another chance. And that's good, man. People should have a, another chance. But she didn't help herself, you guys. Oh, man. She looked like she liked being at work, too, man. She just took it a little bit too extreme. And double. Alcohol, man. Makes your brain go crazy. This place. This whole place is going to be soon. Okay, but like we said, you could have just left. I wanted to leave. I tried to leave. They wouldn't let me. It didn't seem like that. They wouldn't let me. Other way. This place. Take this shit off of me before. They're not, they're not coming off. You're going to jail. And you know what you have? Have a seat. Have a seat. Okay. Watch your head. Let me go to jail. Watch your head. And you got the sorely. See you guys. Oh, drink responsibly, and trust me, you don't want to drink before you go to work, or if you're even at work, don't drink, man. Unless it's your business, and that be, I guess you're the boss who's gonna fire you, who's gonna call the cops on you now. But still, man, I'm just saying, even if you're a CEO, a business owner, or whatever, man, don't let that alcohol take over your brain. I'm, just, I'm saying, you gotta be clear, man. Know what you're doing, and if you're sad or anything like that, get ice cream. All right. Popcorn, watch a movie. I don't know, man. Anyways, let me know what you thought about this lady <sighs> and her job. I think she lost it. I think she did, man. Hit the like button. It really helps this video and channel. And I would really appreciate it because you're doing that. YouTube will suggest this video to other people that never seen it before. And that's the best way. Support the channel by hitting that like button. You want to watch another video? You can watch this from right here or this playlist. And I'll see you next time. Bye.